In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your song ideas in music memos using iCloud Drive so you never lose another music idea again. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And I do that through tips and tricks and tutorial videos here on the channel. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, consider subscribing. Today, we're taking a look at Music Memos. Now, if you're not familiar with Music Memos, it is a great piece of software. It's made by Apple and it integrates beautifully with GarageBand and with other applications on your iPhone or your iPad. All you need to do is hit this big button in the middle. It'll start recording. Me, ma, 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 ma. It picks up the actual tones and the chords. And as you can see, I'm talking there, so it's not doing a great job. But then you've got the ability to add in bass and drums. You can play it back. You can manipulate it. It's just a great song capture. It's like voice memos, but with a whole lot more to it. And if you want to check out a full tutorial video, there's one up the top and in the description. But today, what I want to show you is how we can actually make sure that we back up our ideas to iCloud Drive so that you will never lose your ideas and that you can also sync them across multiple devices. Let's jump in and show you how now. So what we need to do here is switch over to our settings app because it's not actually in music memos that we set this, it's here in settings. And we're here in the standard settings here. We're gonna scroll down and you'll notice that we start getting into all of our apps in alphabetical order. So music memos should be somewhere around the M. There it is, we're gonna tap on music memos and here's the setting that you wanna pay attention to. Here, use iCloud. If this is unselected, then all of your ideas are only being saved to your internal storage of your iPhone or iPad. So if this one is off, I highly recommend that you turn it on. Your music memos ideas won't take up a lot of storage on your iCloud drive, but you will definitely thank me if anything happens to your iPhone or iPad because it'll be backed up in the cloud. If you then install it on a new device, then you come back into music memos, it will relocate and re-download all of those song ideas. And here in your song inbox, you'll have a nice, well-organized idea list like this going from my idea one to my idea 20, just like I do here. So that is is all that I wanted to show you in this video. Once again, if you want to find out more about Music Memos, check the description down below. In fact, I've linked the videos about Music Memos right there and right there as well. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, and I'll see you next time.